There was grit, there was fight, and there was a seesaw battle. The third ODI between India and West Indies had all the makings of a decider. But when Virat Kohli is chasing a 300 plus score, he rarely loses. And the third ODI was no different. Virat Kohli won the toss in Katak and chose to chase at a ground which is notoriously famous for second innings due. West Indies making no changes, India making one forced change. Coming in was the debutant Navdeep Saini in place of an injured Deepak Chahal. Ready, steady, start was the mantra that Evan Lewis and Shea Hope in, had in mind once they came out to bat. Evading the new ball, ensuring that they did not give away a wicket in the initial phase of the play and they were successful at it until the last ball of the 15th over where Evan Lewis, who was batting uncharacteristically slowly, lofted one off Ravindra Jadeja and was caught at long on by Navdeep Saini. In at number 3 was Rostin Chase, who was gone cheaply as well. Then went Shimran Hetmeyer and Shea Hope as well. West Indies' innings in the first innings seemed like going nowhere until the men in Maroon unleashed a red hot Nicholas Puran on the Indians. Puran was flicking the ball with disdain, driving it with the utmost West Indian flair. And while he fell short of a well-deserving and an almost certain century, Kyron Pollard was not to be left behind as he stepped up in the fifth gear. West Indies collecting 118 runs in the back 10 overs, posting a colossal 315 in the final decider ODI for India to chase. With 316 on the board to chase, the mantra for the Indian openers was ready, go. Because they didn't want to be steady at all. KL Rahul and Rohit Sharma were at it right from the word go, playing their shots freely, bringing up their 100-run partnership. Fifth such instance in the last 10 games where they have opened together. And while Rohit Sharma couldn't really carry on beyond his half-century, he was dismissed after amassing the most number of runs in a calendar year for an opener, overtaking Sanat Jaisuriya's two-decade-long record. While KL Rahul and Virat Kohli kept at it, stitching together a partnership, KL Rahul missed on yet another century. He was gone, and then was gone Shreyas Iyer. Panth was gone, and then Jadav was gone too. India's middle order had collapsed in a crucial chase. Virat Kohli seemed to be running out of partners, and then emerged Ravindra Jadeja who rotated the strike with Virat Kohli, hit that odd boundary, never allowing the pressure to come on Captain Kohli, as he did what he does in a chase, go about his business scoring runs. But then right before India were to achieve the target, Virat Kohli was gone. And suddenly it seemed like all hell would break loose. India would not be able to chase this. Out walked Shardul Thakur. He drove one through the covers and flicked one off his pads. All the tension was eased. Ravindra Jadeja did the rest of the mopping up as India clinched the series 2-1, winning the game by four wickets. So that completes India's 10 successive ODI series wins against the West Indies. And while that is much cause to rejoice, you cannot write off the effort, the fight, the entertainment that the West Indians provided throughout the T20I series and also the ODI series. And just like that, we move on to a new year and a new series, this time against Sri Lanka for the T20Is. See you then.